science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM. Why STEM? Because doing well in these disciplines is critical to the nation's ability to innovate and compete. Our economic future depends on having a competitive workforce that's skilled in science and technology. That's why STEM education and careers are high priorities for the National Science Board. And as part of its commitment to providing quality objective information, the Board has developed an online resource that brings together facts on how and what we're doing in STEM. It's a one-stop source of STEM data and analysis. Let's walk through it. We'll begin by exploring the data. Covering pre kindergarten through careers and every educational level in between, it provides answers to 60 key questions on areas such as educational progress, college degrees, finances, and jobs in science and engineering. Click on the question and you'll find the answer. How well do fourth graders do on science and math? You'll first see a chart of math results for all students and broken out by gender and race. Move your cursor over the bars to see the data. On the right side, you will always find an analysis of the main findings and key observations. Lower on every page, there are links to more in-depth information and analysis. The data on the site primarily comes from the NSB's Science and Engineering Indicators, and these links connect you to the related sections of that report. And by going down to the bottom right of the page, you'll see easy ways to download the data or the chart itself. To see the science scores, click here and the results of those assessments appear. Again, you'll find the data findings and additional links. Let's go back. On the same topic, you can also find a map showing the comparisons by state. And you can explore trend data going back to 1990. In other words, data, comparisons, and trends are easy to see. Going down to higher education, there are pie charts showing the breakdown of science and engineering degrees by degree level. And with the concerns about the underrepresentation of women and minorities in science, you can find data on their share of science and engineering degrees. Their school financing information, too. Public research universities play a big role in training the next generation of scientists, so comparing how states fund these institutions is noteworthy. But the resource goes beyond education, providing valuable information about the STEM workforce. What kind of degrees do science and engineering workers have? What are the trends for women, and in which STEM disciplines? What about racial minorities? In what STEM areas are jobs expected to grow the most? College students and those who advise them should know. And how much do science and engineering jobs pay? Finally, because engineering encompasses so many different areas, there's additional information about it here. Our future depends on a workforce educated in the STEM disciplines, whether it's informing education policies or individual education and career decisions it helps to know the facts. Use the resource and share it with others who need to understand STEM and why it matters.